Hello and welcome to this presentation of Shopify to Sage. My name is Oren Martirosian. I'm going to show you how Shopify to Sage can help you integrate your Shopify system into Sage. In particular, I'm going to look at importing orders in and exporting stock levels back up to Shopify. The system uses the Shopify API, which is a technical language which allows the two systems to talk to one another in both directions. So let's look at this in action. So here's my Shopify admin console, and I can see that I've had two orders in uh, at about half past seven. If I look at Shopify to Sage, I can see the last time I looked at it was at about seven o'clock and I haven't got any new orders in. So what I do is I just press one button, it will then go off, speak to Shopify, find out any if there are any particular orders, and if I then go and have a look at them, yep, 62 and 63 have come in. So all I now need to do is just literally press one button, and what that will do is it'll take those orders and import them into Sage. And also as a backup, send me an Excel spreadsheet of what it's done. And here we are. I've got two Excel spreadsheets. One is a product invoice and one is a sales order. That's because I can treat that transaction in two different ways. So the system allows me to cater for it either as a product invoice in Sage or a sales order in Sage. Very, very simple. And after it's done that, it tells me that they've been imported into Sage and all I do is go into Sage and the last one that was imported was now 161. So what I need to do is just refresh that. And there you go, 62 and 63 have come in. If I open up 63, that's the order that was taken on Shopify. Very, very simple. The next thing we need to do is look at stock levels and send those back up to Shopify. So in here, if I looked at the Shopify warehouses, so for example, products, board 001 has got 835 in it. If I just refresh that, it has got uh, 833 in it now. If I go into my Shopify account and look at my products, it will come back with a list of my products for all my locations. So product board 001 across all the locations is 926. And uh, if I clicked into that and went and, and had had a look further down, I can see that it thinks it's got 833 in Shopify. Now let's say that now currently matches with Sage, but let's say for whatever reason, I decided to write something out. So let's say some of them were broken. So I'm gonna say uh, write off, and I'm gonna write off uh, five of these. So that means when I save that, I've now got 828, which is now out of sync with Shopify. So what I want to do is make sure Shopify reflects what's in Sage. So all I do is just literally press one button, go to my stock levels, download what Shopify thinks, and that'll then go and bring back the product records from Shopify. And according to Shopify, I've got 833. So if I just press one button, upload the Sage available stock, it will then find the Sage quantities and send those back up to Shopify. And you can see here it says 828. And the system has actually been set up so that it takes the quantity in stock and also takes off whatever has been allocated on other sales orders, because you might be processing things from eBay, Amazon, things like that. So if I okay that, and then go off to um, uh, my uh, Shopify account and check that. So let's go and have a look at that. Uh, that just is telling me that Shopify has now been updated. So if I now go back to my Shopify and uh, go back out and just refresh that for a second, We will now see that the stock levels have reduced back down to 828, which is what's in Sage. So dead easy. In Shopify to Sage, you can import orders and you can export stock levels with just one click. And all of this can also be scheduled. So if you want to do it manually, great, you just press one button. Otherwise you can get it to run every 10 minutes, every hour or whatever it is that you want to do. The system also allows you to look at other things in Shopify because the API allows you to look at locations that you've set up there, the products you've set up there, and also variants, which is a very powerful feature in Shopify, which allows you to deal with color matrix. So for example, if you sell shirts in different colors and different sizes, it's very, very easy to set that up in Shopify and get that to link into what's in Sage. So thank you for your time and interest in Shopify to Sage. Please feel free to contact me if you've got any questions and queries and to arrange a free trial. Thank you.